What's up guys, Anders here with another video for you. Today we're going to take a look at the Hashashin. It's a hit test server, so we're going to take a look at it now. Um, we're not going to go over every single skill, just because we've done a skill analysis already. Um, but there are some changes to the skills because of Global Labs. They've already made some changes to Hashashin. The main one I want to talk about is the dash is now a super armor, invincible super armor. So super armor, iframe super armor. Um... I don't know how true that is though, because it's iframe while he's invisible. Kind of like the DK one, except if DK had super armor at the beginning and at the end. But uh, it's not exactly true. I see a lot of people getting caught, including myself, when using this. So it could be that my ping is just too high for the server. Or, I don't know, those people didn't have as high ping as I did and they were still getting caught, so it's hard to say. Overall, remember the class has no awakening yet and no succession yet. So we're looking at a class that's not even basically finished and it's going to receive a lot of tweaks. Okay, just keep that in mind. In terms of the PvP clips, I'll show you at the end. Uh, I was using basically normal gear uh, 269 to 281 uh, AP was like the range and DP was 320 to 340 something like that um pretty much as close as to like what normal gear looks like for me so there's that anything less than that eh, not not a great time i was versing a hashashin that was 305 ap all right so let's see we have the basic attack has also changed it's no longer hp regen it's a mana regen because the cost lets you use mana it's kind of like a male sork in that way it does consume a lot of mana and it does consume a lot of stamina. So that's why we have a passive here that's 150 max MP and 300 stamina. Uh, the other passives are evasion and accuracy really good. I think the only other great passive would be crit damage. So it's not bad to have these two. This is also its other passive, which is increased movement in desert, no stamina consumption when running in the desert, and increased resistances to uh, desert disease. There's a couple things about the Hashashin. Honestly, after playing around with the class for a while, it looks to be like playing like a, a Musa, basically. Uh, in terms of mobility, not like a Musa. Uh, I think it's kind of struggles. It has bursty mobility, but that's pretty much it. Um, that tornado movement ability is unprotected. It's a float, though. Its main sort of PvP catch, I would say, is it's um, throwing... Uh, like a directional right click. This is a stiffness. So if you can, it has decent range as well. So you can get a stiff in there. It also, if you hold down right click again or left click again, it will teleport you to the target and do a CC attack. So like that. There you go. It's a little finicky because of my ping. But uh, yeah, um, it's a it's basically the main way you're going to CC people in PvP, honestly. And it's really strong, because as soon as you get a CC, you can do some serious damage with this class. In terms of AoE ability and sort of for PvE and stuff, you're uh, going to have basically your Tornado skills, which is uh, Shift E. It's going to be Shift Q as well. And it's going to be your hockey ability, which is these three tornadoes, the first skill that we saw. It's good damage as well in PvP. And you also have the other shift F ability, which uh, summons a bunch of tornadoes. And then you can press shift Q to kind of direct where the tornadoes should go. Um, unfortunately, if the target dies, it's just going to go to the next hostile target. It's kind of cool. I mean, as you saw, it, it does look very cool uh, indeed. Its animations are kind of slow normally, but you can quick cast them. So if you do a dash beforehand, you can do it uh, much faster. So there you go. There's an example of that. Um, in terms of super armors and stuff, there's not a lot of them, but I think it's, it's enough for it to be a little bit viable. Uh, the way it, it plays is kind of like this. Um, I'm not going to lie. This is his S block. He is walking very slowly, but that is his S block. So if you've seen PvP videos from Koreans, you'll see them do a lot of this. A lot of this, into that, 
and just zest block. Maybe they'll, they'll do they'll do the teleport here, so you can summon a, a tornado, and they'll go in, and then the teleport back. You can do that for up to 20 seconds. Uh, once after 20 seconds, it, it will be gone. So keep that in mind, and it consumes stamina every time you teleport back. So keep that in mind as well. Um, good ability, interesting ability. Don't know how useful it would be in a practical one v one fight, but uh, it is at least able to have your opponent be aware of it, you know, uh, which is a good thing. So again, S block into this, and then just uh, wait for your cooldowns. Basically, you can play it a little bit more like AOE. Uh, it's not as good though because using Shift E is super armor. Oh, that's that's uh, that's his ultimate, which by the way is complete garbage. Um, Hashashan ultimate does no damage. And it's a CC in a vacuum, which is good, but that's pretty much it. Um, no damage whatsoever. Shift Q is unprotected, by the way, and it does a stiffen and a knockdown, which is very strong. It does good damage as well. Um, the tornadoes themselves do okay damage uh they're not really like you taking damage from them isn't gonna hurt unless you have like basically no dp whatsoever um for the most part that you have a, a small frontal engage which you just saw with this frontal f it's super armor it's very protected it's very reliable as well um apart from that you're just basically going to be doing this a whole lot just trying to get a maybe a, a sort of stub arrow stiffen and then go in and teleport to them with the uh, the CC bound that you can do. In terms of combos, I mean, there's there's a couple things you can do. The, the good thing about the claws is you can find a lot of cancels, which is nice. So it does look cool in that sense, and it does do a lot of damage in that sense. But, I mean, right now, of course, its main problem, I would say, is it has no grab. So against Guardians, um, I just don't know what you would do against a Guardian. You can't do the whole teleport thing with the Guardian because they have a SA block. So you essentially have to wait for the Guardian to mess up, which is currently how a lot of classes that don't have grab have to deal with Guardian. So in that sense, it's not offering anything new to for that. Uh, so if you're looking for something that will beat a Guardian, because you just absolutely hate Guardians and you just want this class to beat a Guardian, uh, this class will not beat a Guardian right now. Of course, if the Awakening gives it a grab, absolutely, that changes everything. And this class has potential. Uh, until then, though, a lot of stamina consumption, I think that's going to get buffed uh, because I'm not even doing a lot of things and the stamina is already so low right now. Mana consumption, also pretty goddamn high uh, it reminds me of ranger 2016 2017 so not great in that regard either no hp regen mm. like uh you know if you play a lawn don't expect uh hp regen on this class um apart from that there's not much else to say to be honest i mean i, I know i'm sounding kind of negative about it but i'm just being realistic this is not a class right now that i personally would play um, but again, when Guardian came out, she didn't look very good. And look what happened, you know? So there's a, there's always the, the potential for the devs to make you want to play this class in some way. Give him... I mean, he's just a little tweak away from being just completely overpowered. Um, right now, I mean, his damage is okay. But uh, he has basically kind of like a block jump which is cool, but um, this whole stiffen stub arrow thing is just, uh, whoops, I accidentally teleported there. I am so sorry. But yeah, um, I don't know. I'll show you some P PvP clips with you guys. Let me know what you thought about this class in the comments down below. If you want me to test out anything in particular, let me know. In terms of skills, not much else has changed. There are This is a spacebar skill that I haven't used yet, but it's very good damage when you do use it. It's like this. So after the right click, you can use it. It's very nice AOE. It's pretty good. But um, it's very unprotected. In group fights, I don't think this is... Nah. It's not going to work. It needs more. It needs more if you're going to be a, um, a group PvPer. Uh, this is not enough. 
It does look cool, though. Uh, I do like the tornadoes. That's, um, that's definitely something going for it. And that's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Chaos, good ship. This class, uh, ultra scaler, bro. Holy shit. Holy shit. Nice, nice. The way he yells a bit excessive. <laughs> like, uh, chill out, bro. Holy shit.